Hello my people. Welcome to the Les Chronicles channel. I'll talk on um, my faith and youthful life according to na- an African youth. I'm actually from Kenya, a country in Africa. I woke up with this feeling of um, what youths in the African continent go through. Uh, the place I'm in right now is called Teta Taveta. It's in Voi. Voi is next to Mombasa. Mombasa, the, yeah, the famous Mombasa in Kenya. I'm 21 years. I think youthful life starts from 18, 18 to let's say 26 there, yeah. or even 30. I'm not sure. According to your definition, my take on being a youth is: this is the period where you can develop your life or destroy it. You can develop it, or you can destroy it. Why am I saying this? I have several, um, several points that I'll try to explain why I say th- those words. Hope you enjoy the content. And uh, remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, it will help the channel to grow. Thank you for your time. This is actually my take on um, the love life during the youth period. I'll give you a story. One story. So there's this lady that attracted me in every way. I'm not sure why I could have attracted to this like, girl. Actually, she was draining me in every aspect. I'm not sure if it was love or love. But what I can assure you, many youths are in toxic relationships out here just to fulfill their friends' desires. What do I mean by desires? It's an act of peer pressure. Not all. I don't mean all. Most of the youths tend to call this thing they call love, which is lust, but they call it love. I'm usually attracted to um, something bodily or something um, how you talk. I've never been attached to personality that much because I know personality is hard to find. Especially with someone who can match me. I'm actually an introvert, partly an introvert, a pinker, and um, the things I like doing are odd. So finding such a personality is hard, so you just have to try to fix yourself into something, yeah? You try to to fit into a society that you don't belong. Like you're trying to love, but you're loving the wrong way. Trying to be this thing they call alpha males. The idea of that thing, I got it from the internet, YouTube. So what the alpha males, according to me, as I understood it, alpha males are those men who can control their women, who can play them, who can snatch them, the emotions, who can make them cry for them. The real me, I don't, I'm not the alpha. I'm alpha, but not the alpha. The one that I've been trying to force myself into. It's hard sometimes, I just think of it and I do like, why should I even force myself doing this? I'll be honest with the youth. This thing most of you call love, it's actually last. Not all. There are some that are working. There are some that are true. And most of it is last. You find yourself attached to someone or attracted to someone. So you find yourself, you just want the brown skins. But even if you are asked, the main thing that put you there, you can't even explain. That's pure lust. It's a hard topic to touch on, based on um, the society we've been raised on. In our society, here in Kenya, most of the musicians, um, tend to glorify this act of sex, sex, sex and entertainment.
it's like they are trying to make our youths being attached to this called sex because it promotes their brand it's a selfish act why should you do that to other people people's children destroy them because you also destroyed your life our youths need motivation entertainment is no bad but teaching people that sex is good I have fallen, I have fallen into that trap some, sometime, but I'm, I'm happy. It didn't go that, that, that deep, that deep. I got some friends, some friends advising me on that. They told me peer pressure won't help you. You just do something that will help you. That's why I love my friends. Let's get back to uh, this love thing. It's actually hard to explain, but the bottom line to it is that in our youthful life, it's hard to find true love. You'll always find lust, lust after lust after lust. Then you find some people so bitter, we're so bitter at ourselves for not finding love when you should be concentrating on our lives on something that can help us why should we concentrate on love love can help us emotionally but not that deep then something i'm actually a student in all the campuses all over the world that those students that their parents depend on them then there are those that they depend on their parents so those, these people come into one institution and they join. Then they form a friendship bond. Then, because this, the other one, who depends on their parents, has more influence. He manipulates the other one into thinking, thinking that that's the right thing to do. Our future, our dreams, everything might be the next billionaire i don't know when but i i got this feeling because i'm i i put on the hard work i believe in myself emotionally equipped my social skills um as some uh, i can comment on which is key it's key in every aspect of your life, just put your future in front. The moment you put your future in front, you find that everything will align. Everything will go according to how you want it. It's not an easy path. It's not an easy path. Actually, I'm, I'm trying. I can't say I've reached it because it's, it's something that takes time over our youthful period. That's why I'm saying, if you waste your youth, you might, you might have wasted your life, but um, I don't know. I don't know, I've not reached 30. I'm actually 21. I'm still young. I have some plenty time to make mistakes, and um, but I try to avoid those mistakes because the mistakes take me back. I, every single morning when I wake up, I try to look at what I did yesterday. I try to make sure I'm richer than yesterday in every aspect. Even if it means I'm... Let me, let me give you an example. One US dollar is equal to 100 Kenya shillings. So I promised myself a while back that I'll, I'll make sure that I'm richer every day. This means that I save every single day. So I usually save something upwards of 10 shillings, Kenya shillings, every single day. Then um, I've done some investments in Safaricom shares. Yeah, my parents have helped me somewhere. Yeah, in school, I do something. 
yeah you just have to try to make yourself rich every day this actually works just do the math 20 kenya shillings for 366 days then increase that amount every single day or maintain it might be something uh, let's say uh, 100 dollars 100 us dollars or 200 us dollars by the end of the year which is a good thing you won't feel that that much weight as saving big amount, amounts of money people will even will be surprised by how you're doing your things so try to look into your future because the future starts now it already started but after this video make sure that you know that the future starts now you hear me the future starts now it already started but um just give yourself another chance say it's starting right now just make sure um, you do everything according to your plans put god first try to to avoid something that can't help you enjoy yourself and make sure the the right people are around you put the most loyal ones closer to you because they might help you they will help you they will help you they will help you trust me there are very many things i'll be talking about in this channel this is just the first upload hope you enjoyed it please if you liked it like subscribe and comment um just give me some topics that you you actually want me to talk about down the link now uh, in the comment section in the comment section hope i um, meet the next episode